Hi, Christopher Kelsall here with AthleticsIllustrated.com. Hey, today, Sunday, January 9th, was to be the uh, 43rd running of the Harriers Pioneer 8K. However, the event has been postponed due to uh, concerns over the uh, <laughs> virus as well as snow on the course that hasn't been removed. And oddly enough, a lack of porta potties. So a local porta potty company had pulled out at the last minute, leaving organizers bummed out. However, we have a chance today to watch some of the elite athletes do a time trial uh, workout. And they include two time Olympian Natasha Wodak, two time Olympian Jen Lalonde, Natalia Hawthorne, who's had a tremendous 2020 and 2021 year, and Kate Ayers. Enjoy.
All right, Natasha Wodak, uh, nice work here at your uh, SISK uh, time trial in Victoria. Uh, so what's up next for you? Uh, I'm going to be running the, most likely, the New York Half Marathon in March. And then I have a marathon lined up this spring that I'm very excited about, uh, which will be announced shortly. So we're going to start the marathon builds, you know, in the next few weeks. Now you've done New York before the half. Yes. I believe, and you ran around uh, 70 flat there I think, four I think years I ago? I ran 71.20 there back in the day. I think this was like in 2015, back in the day. <laughs> it's like six, <laughs> that's, yeah, six, seven years ago. Wow. So I'm excited to go back. I was supposed to go back uh, in 2020 and then, you know, COVID hit. And like, I couldn't, I was, my flight was the next day, but then everything got canceled. So I'm really um it's not set in stone yet, but hopefully I'll be heading back in, in March to run the New York half. You were the first uh, Canadian to uh, breach the 70-minute barrier. Uh, what are your uh, goals? And, and talk about the course. I haven't been there. What is the uh, New York course like? Yeah, they've changed it, and it goes a lot more through Central Park now, so it's not going to be fast, but it's going to be competitive, and I love New York, and my partner, Alan, will come with me, and we'll get a, have a great time there, and at this point in my career, I want to do things that I enjoy and I want to run races that, you know, I get to go to cities that I want to go to and races that are competitive and um, really just get to enjoy the sport. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Good stuff. So take me through your 6K time trial. You're hitting the downhill. You're with, uh, you know, a nationally ranked 1,500-meter uh, runner and you're Olympic. also... A 1500 meter run, yeah. And our Canadian record holder in the steeplechase, so. yeah. Between you, there's five Olympics, but uh, you're, you're not defined as a marathoner, you will not be defined as a marathoner, but you are a marathoner. So, how did that feel, uh, being in between those two girls on that uh, 6k time trial? Well, I needed to remind myself that I am still the Canadian record holder in the 8k. So, you know, even though I'm not near that speed, I'm not that far off, I think I would have run about a 26.15 today in an AK, which is is pretty uh, pretty good. So uh, I felt good and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun running with uh, Natalia and Jen. We've been on World Cross together and I've trained with them a lot. So I think it's really cool that we can come out here from different disciplines with different coaches and, uh, you know, get a good workout. Um, that's the awesome thing about our sport and our run community that we can work together that way and we got lucky with the weather too so yeah for sure the, the weather is uh, awesome after uh, um, a terrible start to 2022 yeah. for the area but uh, hey you're uh, you went uh, sub three in the uh, the case you haven't done that for a couple of years three years maybe so uh, <laughs> uh, you, yeah, you're caught <laughs> for the for the 1k but I mean it was mostly downhill with the wind at our back because the second k was 312 with which was uphill into the wind but yeah that was that was a lot of fun just trying to keep up with the speedier girls and uh yeah it feels really good to get back you know get back out into some more structured workouts like we've been doing mostly fart licks which has been great and uh but to actually come out here and test the fitness a bit was was awesome and right where we want to be, right, Coach Trent? It's all good. <laughs> hey, Talia Hawthorne, uh, nice workout here today uh, in Victoria. Thank you. Yeah, we're, I'm just excited to have the opportunity to work out with some of the girls here in the area and get some nice weather and clear roads after we've had quite a lot of snow in um, Vancouver. We had a bunch here too, but you're in Oak Bay. They pay, pay higher taxes here, therefore they have less snow. So, <laughs> talk about your 6K. This is a 6K time trial. You were aiming for, I think, 315s or something like that. You got pretty close to that? Yeah, we did. So, we were just looking to do 6K at a good effort um, with the cancellation of yesterday's 8K. So, um, it was a good solid effort um, with a good group of girls and then got to speed up the leg with some 1Ks after. How did the 1Ks go? Uh, they were good. We had one cruising downhill, so I think broke three minutes, which was good. And then we had our second one up into the wind um, and kind of 3.07-ish. So, again, good effort and just getting the legs moving faster going into the indoor season. Right. Let's talk about indoors. You have some meets lined up or, or potentially lined up in the U.S.? 
Yeah, so looking to line up probably two indoor meets um, this winter, so a 5K and a 3K to just kind of get a stake in the ground and be fit and healthy going into that 2022 outdoor season. Full uh, good luck there, and thank you for this. Thank you so much. All right, uh, Jen Lalonde, how was your 6K uh, time trial today? Oh, it was something that was always good to have uh, some bodies around, um, you know, especially we, Kate and I get to do some workouts together, but uh, um, it's, uh, it's fun to have um, other people come to the island and be able to, to run around um, on a beautiful day. So uh, it's, uh, for me, it was just a good hard effort and good to have some people to look up to, to um, on a beautiful day. So uh, it's, uh, for me, it was just a good hard effort and good to have some people to look up to, to see where uh, my fitness needs to get to. So not quite there, but it's the beginning of January, so I'm not anticipating anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, speaking of that, are you running an indoor season coming up? Um, I'm not planning on it, but uh, if a, the right race comes up at the right time, then um, I'll definitely consider it. But uh, um, focus is definitely on outdoors, so uh, just staying fit and um, getting the you know track fitness up, starting to do hurdles a little bit, and focusing on uh, the steeplechase season this summer. So you're, you're a strong downhill runner. And uh, so take me through the downhill part when you hit the gates of uplands there and you have the tailwind. How did that uh, go for you? Uh, yeah, I think we took it out a little bit strong. Um, I, you know, have been in cross-country form for the past uh, m a couple of months. So um, up and down hills are, are fine for me, but then anything flat is a little bit more difficult and uh, plays more of a mental game. So, um, yeah, it was fun to to run along the girls as far as I could and, and until I kind of died off in that in that last section but um, again as I said it's the beginning of January so I'm not too stressed ab about that and it's my last week I didn't I wasn't even doing workouts so um, I'm happy to be back at it and uh, and yeah have targets as to where I need to be.